Okay. So what I want to do is go through all of the important information with you that pertains to the quadratic formula and exactly what I would anticipate you know for Monday. So there is a particular part of the quadratic formula known as the discriminant. The discriminant is going to tell you if your solutions are real or imaginary, and then it is going to tell you how or what describes those solutions. So remember that the discriminant is the important piece of information under the radical. So it is only what is under the radical when you give me the discriminant value you do not include the radical. So what I kind of saw the other day was some of us, now that we learned the quadratic formula, started putting the square roots with our discriminant. And the discriminant itself does not involve the square roots. And then instead of saying no real solutions, I want you guys to tell me to imagine it. So make sure you cross that off and understand that it's not no real, it's too imaginary. So I am looking for too imaginary on your handout. Hello, Mr. my friend. Hey, I am. Do you want me to have somebody around them up? Yeah, 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 we're good. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Perfect. I'll sign this out for them today. Bye. All right. Let's do a practice problem. So it says, what is the number of solutions? How do you find that? So once again, we're going to go through the problem. We want to part one, write it in standard form. So again, remember that standard form is AX squared plus BX plus C. I've told us that a hundred times. I like vocab. Write it out there. So write it in standard form. So standard form for our problem is going to be moving over that 2. So you have negative 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 0. What is our discriminant? So my discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So three negatives make a negative. Four times three is 12. 12 times two is 24. 49 minus 24 is 25. A discriminant value of 25 tells me that the discriminant is positive. Therefore, I have two real roots. And in this case, because it's a positive perfect square, those real roots are also rational. So again, on the front side, just focus on discriminating and describing. So the two is the number, the real rational is the type. If it has two real rational roots, then it also has two x-intercepts. The second focus is the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is the important tell all for quadratics. It solves any and all quadratic functions. 
So again, the quadratic formula is a tell all for quadratics. It solves all quadratic formulas. So looking at that, you need to know that the equation is negative b squared plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I will not be giving you the quadratic formula on Monday's quiz. You must have that memorized. And again, looking at this, solving that problem, you want to make sure you break the quadratic formula in standard form. So we're going to subtract 4. If it is just asking you for the quadratic formula or the solutions, you do not need to show me the discriminant outside of the equation. So again, you can do everything all at once. If it helps you to do it outside, then you can. But at this point, you're getting it in standard form and then plugging into the quadratic formula. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 4 all over 2 times 2, which is 4. Make sure that when you do that all over, you will write it under the negative 3, under the plus or minus, and under the square root. So 3 squared is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32, so 2 negatives make a positive, so you have 32 plus 9, so you're going to get 40 um, plus 41 does not divide by any perfect squares. Because 41 itself is a positive, non-perfect square, my answer is irrational, and we are done. Feeling good? Better? All right. So I want to do one more day of kind of reviewing everything with you. I have a packet of problems. You are just doing the first page front and back. The back page is kind of like the review for over the weekend. So I'll do that for me today or do tomorrow. So if you want to work with someone else, you can. You're doing 1 to 12 on the front, flipping it over and doing 13 to 18 on the back. So 1 to 12 on the front, 13 to 18 on the back. If you are signing up for Friday, the sign up for period 4 is up front here. I will put it on the whiteboard. So we... Um, and what everybody signs up for, I'll take a picture and post it on Teams. Um, the allotted bonus points go with it. You can earn no more than five points, so I mean, you can sign up for either A5 or two items down below.